So in the first example, there, we have a right triangle with short sides of length 3 and 4, and we want to find all the angles in the triangle. So let me draw a triangle here. And we're told that the short sides have length 3 and 4. Of course, one angle is a right angle, so I don't need to worry about that. And I'll call these angles theta, and I'll call this one phi. Um, first thing we're going to need to know is what the hypotenuse of this triangle is. So h squared is equal to 3 squared plus 4 squared, Pythagorean theorem there, which is 9 plus 16, which is 25. So h is the square root of 25. h is 5. So let me draw that in there. And now I want to figure out what, sin what uh, theta and phi are. So I'm going to use SOHCAHTOA. Let me write that down there for reference, SOHCAHTOA. And I'm going to figure out what theta is by using the SO part of SOHCAHTOA. So sine of theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So that's the opposite angle to theta is 3, and the hypotenuse is 5. So theta is equal to arc sine of 3 fifths. Now, I'm going to work that out on the calculator. My calculator has an arc sine button. It actually writes it as uh, sine to the negative 1, which I don't like that notation because it looks, makes it seem like it's a power. But in any case, I'm going to use our, uh, sine, inverse sine of 3 fifths. But there's a very important step here that many students get confused about, which is that if you're looking for an answer in terms of degrees, which in real world measurement, it's sometimes easier to use degrees than radians, um, you have to set your calculator to degree mode. Uh, most calculators have a degree mode and a radian mode. In fact, all calculators that do trigonometric functions have a degree mode and a radian mode. And the default is probably radian mode. So if your calculator is set in radian mode and you try to do something like arc sine of 3 fifths, you'll get an answer that doesn't look right. And you may be confused. If you're checking your answer somewhere, it may not agree with, with what the correct answer is. So what you have to do is set up your calculator in, radi in, sorry, in degree mode if you want an answer in degrees. My calculator is a Texas Instruments. It's got a mode button, and I just scroll down, and it says rad and deg to convert it from radians to degrees. So I'm going to convert it into degree mode, and then I'll get an answer in terms of degrees. Um, that's a step that many students forget, and they get kind of confused when they get an answer, which is in terms of radians, but it doesn't agree with the degree answer they were looking for. So now I've got my calculator set in degree mode. I'll do the arc sine of 3 fifths, which is 0.6. And it tells me that that is approximately equal to 36.9 degrees. So I found one of the angles in the triangle. Of course, another one is a right angle, so it's 90 degrees. Um, for phi, I think for phi, I'm going to practice the cosine part of SOHCAHTOA. So I know that cosine of phi is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. But that's the adjacent angle to f the adjacent side to phi. And so phi is over here. Its adjacent side is 3. Hypotenuse is still 5. So phi is equal to arc cosine of 3 fifths. Again, I'll do that on my calculator. And the calculator tells me that that's 53.1 degrees, approximately equal to 53.1 degrees. Now there's a little check here you can do to make sure that you work these out correctly. Uh, we know that the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So if we check here, 36.9 plus 53.1 plus the last angle was a 90 degree angle, a right angle. And if you add those up, 36.9 plus 53.1 is 90, so plus 90, you get 180 degrees. 
So that tells me that my answers are right. So the key formula here to remember is Sokotoa. Everything comes down to drawing the angles in the triangle and then just using sine equals uh, opposite over hypotenuse, cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent equals opposite over adjacent.